Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, it's Deb Chanel's 48th World. And it seems like I'm just on a marathon race with these videos. Okay, uh, really yesterday I'm going on into the morning of Saturday, no Friday morning when I should be asleep. But I think it's going to be my last video for today. Uh, well, probably not for today since we're going into the wee hours of the morning. But I'll probably take maybe two more sometime on Friday. Hopefully before Friday, uh, <clears throat> six o'clock p.m. Okay, gotta get some rest. Whew. Cause like I said, I've been here on the tube for quite some time, trying to revamp the channel, trying to get more uh listeners, subscribers. Yes, trying to do the darn thing. But anyway, we're gonna get on into this article that Bravo TV brought out on Cam Zosiak and her. Two eldest daughters paying more, mostly attention to Brielle because that seems to be her double man twin, the Bobsy twins, however you want to call them. They're twinning these days. But Kim did a nice little thing. You know, she always have her signature drink cup, not a champagne glass, not even a like a little favorite glass. She just like drinking her champagne or wine or beer out of, you know, the cute little wine goblets, we call them. Now, she just down home country, okay? She said, just give me the silo cup, the red one. <laughs> the red one. That's all I need. That's all I need to have a little drink or drink of my own preference. Because, you know, she the one that bring all her alcohol with her. I ain't got nothing against her doing that because sometimes I feel that way when I go out to people's houses socializing or socializing and uh you know just trying to relax and chill and their favorite choice of alcoholic beverage is not mine you know because like I said I'm a light drinker uh I'm a low weight drinker I love serum coolers especially the classic margarita lime one. Oh my god that is just heaven for me and the Bahama Mama. Then I like some uh, Moscato type wines, but it's particular brands, you know. But like I said, I'm usually a uh, cooler type drinker, and um, I, I feel Kim. You, when you want just one drink that you like to sit and partake in, you just gotta have that particular drink. And you know, you hate to be one of them guests to say, "Well, could you have this on your meal plan?" prep list uh because i am coming and this is the choice of drink i like and da 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 y'all always trying to get me to drink but hey this is what i prefer you know i hate to be one of them kind of people so sometimes i can see why it's necessary to bring your own beverage with you when you go to certain gatherings like bob you know we used to do that in high school bring your own bottle because you can't drink out of mine <laughs> Don't know where your lips been. Don't know where your hands been. Don't know where your mouth been. Okay. Tongue and all. So, no. You couldn't have mine. I, I might spare a little coin and get you one extra. But usually, I had my own thing going on when I was in high school. Okay. So, that's how I rolled back then. I got to have my own thing. But I ain't never had a silo cook. Now, I had friends and I had family members when we had cookouts you know, have a silo cup. You know, when you get grown, you're on that grown man or woman stuff, you just, hey, you just take your alcohol to wherever you take it. You're taking the whole bottle, you're taking a little wine goblet, or, you know, whatever, styrofoam cup. It could be the white one, but can be pimping out that red one, the one you have at cookouts that you just be drinking soda pop in or water. You know what I'm saying? She break it out. But her... A reason for doing drinking out the silo cup. She said she she's a germaphobe. <laughs> but I'm like, Kill, you are too much. You are too much. If you're a germaphobe, babe, how you got all them uh puppets running around your house? They ain't doing nothing but licking themselves from the crack of their behind to you know the little wing wing part, okay? That's all nasty. So I'm like, what are you talking about? You a germaphobe. But you know, hey, if you just like to have, you don't like drinking out of wine glasses, even if they're your personal, personally owned ones. Okay, I get it. Do you, babe? 
Bay, do you okay? Because the red solo cup can go for anything. Usually, the rappers are the ones that's going around here. These young rappers drinking out solo, solo red cup. Lil Wayne got them into that mess and TI and all that kind of stuff. Drinking on that sip, 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 serve, that's what they called it, okay? <laughs> when they were going to these rap uh, shows or award shows and they just have to have their cup, can't, can't be dignified and just wait until after the show. If you have that VIP section, they come bring you a little something, something. You know, get it classy. Tell them to bring you a little wine uh, cup or something. Bring out no silo cup. That's some picnics. Backyard picnics. But anyway. We got this little article Bravo read up on um, Kim Zoziak and her daughter, Brielle. And you know what? I don't know why they always leaving the other cute one out. These are her two older daughters, older daughters I'm referring to. But they did. The article was written up up by Jeannie Berg. Jeannie Berg. Okay, we're going to give her compliments and her kudos for writing up an article in Bravo's news link okay for social media uh it says kim zoziak berman's signature drink why why does she take a chardonnay reserve by cake bread sellers but don't think about serving it to her in a wine glass you see as kim has explained she always drinks out of solo cups that's the red and white ones y'all because she's a germaphobe and she doesn't like the taste of dish water that can taint glasses at a restaurant, okay? Well, what about your house, Kim? You still be drinking out them darn silo cups at your house. My commentary, not in the article. Moving on, okay? Well, it looks like Kim passed her preferences on to her daughter, 22-year-old Bert. Bur- Bur- I'm going to say Brielle. <laughs> Brielle, who also sips her vino out of red plastic cups. And in the Don't Be Tardy family, sipping out of those silos have been known to turn into a beautiful moment of bonding. In a recent Instagram story, Brielle showed off a cup filled with red wine and personalized with a little note from mom. Okay. Uh, It says, while some kiddos find handwritten notes in their lunch boxes, Brielle is of age now to find hers in a wine cup. Keep scrolling to see Kim's happy hour homage to her daughter, which simply said, I love you. I love you. Okay. Drunk with love. <laughs> and if you go on her Instagram account, on Brielle Bourbon's Instagram account, you'll see the little silo cup with her red vino wine in it. And it has a little heart. Um, a uh, uh, heart drawn with you, meaning love you. Okay, and I'm like, girl, Kim, if you don't stop putting these black X, uh, oh, what do you call it? What do you call them? Like sharpening markers. Girl might get a little tipsy and start drinking on the side. You don't put that uh, sharpening marker print on. And she's going to be tainted with, uh, what do you call these toxic ingredients that comes from them sharpie pens? I told you, Kim, you ain't right. You can't be right to save your life. You can't be right. Why you just didn't give her a note and attach it as so she could read it before she pours the alcohol in her actual silo cup? But y'all get down here. Other y'all get down. <laughs> Love amongst you all. But I just find it very interesting. Very, very interesting that she takes up a lot with the her mini me, I like to call Brielle, because she looks just like her mom, beautiful as can be. But I'm like, the next child, I can't even remember her name. Somebody need to help me out with that. That just shows how Brielle has overshadowed the little girl or her um sister that's next to her and how Kim really does. I'm like, you don't see no send no love uh cup silo cups for the other one because she is of age too, I I'm pretty sure. But she's going off to college, I believe. Or does she have one more year? Hell I can't remember. But the girl is growing up and nine times out of ten, being in the tardy for the party family, she done had her a, a size drink herself. <laughs> I ain't gonna say whether it was cool or whether it was branded. You know, it just depends on what those ch- children were uh 
exposed to when it comes to alcohol. Okay, and I'm not saying she go and let her kids drink. As you know, if you live in Italy, kids early as four or five years old be drinking wine, you know. So it just depends on how you were raised and what you could get away with, I guess. All right. But that's all I had on this cute little story on um, uh, Kim loving on her daughter, Brielle. And I hope she's giving much love to the, the next one that comes out of Brielle. Because that little one that she has by Croy, she looks like she's going to be a, 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 what do you call it, a sharp shooter, honey. A, a, she shoots straight from the hill. She's going to be feisty. I think she may have a little bit of her dad and a lot of Kim. But when she gets to uh, coming into her own, because like she's the twin or one of those uh, children. Uh, I don't know if that's paternal twins or, or whatever you call it, but she's the twin. She speaks a little Spanish, and you can just tell from me watching her show, she can't gonna have a run for her money. <laughs> she going to really need her scooter. Okay, a red one at that, because that little girl going to have her strung out. Do you hear me? Okay, but y'all be blessed. I hopefully y'all have settled down. From your, um, dog, I'm going to say Hollywood. No, I'm tired. I need to get out the tube. From your holiday festivities with this 4th of July thing going on. Hopefully, I didn't get too liquored up. If not, hey, catch my videos tomorrow when you're having your hangover and you just need something to watch that you may get a little kiki out of. And that's what I try to bring to my YouTube channel. Laughter. Strictly laughter with a little informational type videos that make you go, hmm, Okay, but I'm glad y'all um, joined me on my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos often. Every time you, you, you pick it up, you watch a video, share it and like it, okay? And subscribe if you hadn't gotten a chance to or hadn't gotten around to it. Get around to it and subscribe, okay? Like and share, okay? And I love all the comments, whether you're with me on a conversation or you're against me, you know? We can't always agree, but we can love to uh, enjoy each other's comments and disagree and move on to the next video and see what one of them we could agree on. <laughs> but I'm tired, y'all. It's Easter Standard Time, 1, 19 a.m. No, I need to be asleep, okay? My, my dog is looking at me like, okay, that's enough. You don't talk enough young lady and i'm gonna adhere to him and get out this video streaming okay and get myself in the bed but well, lots of love to you all and i'll see y'all tomorrow sometime for another trending topic on social media y'all take it easy and i'll talk to you soon bye-bye